I am. Well, well, well. Look when the cat dragged in. You gotta be kidding me. It is so rainy today. Is it raining where you are right now? Right now it's like the biggest thunderstorm I've seen in my life. I I just saw a lightning bolt and it was like rain right in my face and then not even a second after I saw it I heard it and I was like that means it's close. So you know that was kind of spooky. Hello everybody my name is Kaya and today I'm just gonna be sitting here talking to you guys. I'm chilling at my job right now so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on with my life just kind of like a little just a little moment that we're gonna have okay i don't know if you've watched my previous videos you don't have to of course but i am going to be addressing some things that i did talk about in those like the fact that my content is going to be changing just a little bit okay just a little bit i am going to be doing the things that i love to do now so like for example I skateboard and I just got a microphone and so now I'm going to be able to skateboard outside show you guys my clips and stuff without it being super super loud or with the wind or just it's gonna be great now my videos are gonna be great and crispy I also got an iPad Pro which I'm filming on right now so I don't know how good the quality is um, but I'm hoping that it's pretty amazing because this is what I'm gonna do when I am last minute putting a video together so hi I'm not perfect my name is Kaya and I am putting a video last minute together right now so if you ever see a video where I'm looking like right here that's me looking at myself in the iPad okay this thing is a monster it's a it's a monster and I love it so much. I'm trying to work on editing all my thumbnails and stuff to the way that I want them to be now because I can draw on them instead of just copy and pasting some text letters. Now I can make it my own with a little bit of spice and I am so excited. I'm so excited for the things that are gonna happen with this channel and I'm so excited for the things that are gonna happen in my life. I don't know if I had told you in my video where I was talking about my birthday yesterday, but I was fucking crying. I was crying for the first 30 minutes of my birthday, and do you want to know why? Well, like an hour before my birthday too, but like, do you want to know why? It's because I, I don't know. I was just upset. My whole body was like, let it out. Just cry. You know what I mean? And I was just crying, just sitting there talking about my dogs, some random stuff, and I was just sitting there bawling. I couldn't even put it, I couldn't even tell you why. I don't know. But now that I am 21, there's this like, I have all this, my energy. I told you guys I was waiting for my energy to come back and it is back, it's back. I can feel it, I have so much motivation, so much like, and I'm documenting this so that I can watch this in the future and be like, oh my gosh, where is she? In case I'm like falling or if I need to like, I don't know, this is also for me. So like, just so you know, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's for me, okay? Does that make sense? I also have some kind of exciting news about the place that I work. Okay, it's going to be that my mom bought this business and I know yesterday we were talking about my mom a whole lot, but she really is the best, okay? And I'm going to be running this business for her because I ran the business for my other boss and I'm just gonna be doing it for my mom. So it's gonna be pretty exciting and that's another thing added to my plate of things. I have college, I have job one, I have now running business, I have YouTube channel, which is kind of like running a business in my personal life, you know, at home with my dogs. So I have a whole lot of things on my plate, but it's crazy to think that this is how I feel. This is how I feel. This is how it feels to be stressed out with a lot of stuff on your plate. When you're happy, because like when I'm sad and I have all this stuff on my plate, oh my God, I just get like tunnel vision mode. Does that make sense? But like now I feel so like I'm feeling, I feel so creative. Oh my gosh. You guys probably clicked off already, and if you didn't, I appreciate you so much because this is going to be just me ranting, rambling, just just talking to you because I, I appreciate you guys so, so much for sticking around and watching and hanging out with me. I'm just kind of fumbling my way through this, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly what people will want to watch, and I don't know what they don't want to watch. I don't know how to make it fair for everybody and how to not make it fair for everybody. I was thinking about somehow, some way, like I can do videos because I like the time lapses of me dyeing my hair, for example. I, I want to 
do like the whole raw, maybe not raw because <laughs> it takes a long ass time, maybe like raw footage of my hair dye videos just cut up into like a video, you know what I mean? Where I'm just sitting there talking to you dyeing my hair. And I also include like, some people don't wanna watch those videos, you know what I mean? So I wanna be able to include little snippets of me doing those things in like my vlogs or something like that because not everybody wants to watch a whole hair dyeing video, but they are interested in seeing like 15 seconds, you know what I mean? So that's something I've been trying to work on is like how to incorporate these things into these videos because say for example, you watched my vlog that had me dyeing my hair in it for 15 seconds. Maybe that made you wanna go watch the rest of that video. You know what I mean? So that's pretty, that's just my way of thinking about it. I'm trying to get my whole strategy for this down. And I know that you guys are probably like, girl, why are you talking to me like a businesswoman? Because that's what I am now, can you tell? I feel like a whole ass woman, okay? And that's fun, that's fine, that's fresh and dandy. And I am a woman. I'm 21 years old and I'm about to start acting like it, okay? I'm about to start doing all the things that I need to be doing because <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've been slacking off. I've been a lazy motherfucker for the past two years and three, four years. Ever since I stopped making YouTube videos, I've kind of been slacking. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I left you in 2018 and ever since then, I mean, I moved here to Kentucky and I, I just don't like it here. I can't think of any fun footage here, but that's the thing is that's because I'm a city person. I like to be in the city and this is the country. So it's hard for me to get accustomed to living in a place like this, if that makes sense. But I'm starting to learn the beauty of the country. So like maybe now that I'm growing and maturing and all that stuff, maybe now I'll be able to figure out a way how to sit down and show you guys how beautiful Kentucky can be. And also how fucking crazy Kentucky can be because there are some weird ass, crazy ass, weird ass motherfuckers that live here, okay? Fuck. Like for example, okay, I get the worst road rage, but my road rage is so valid, okay? One day I was getting off of work. I got off work at five. So after working all day, I wanna go home and let my dogs out and park in the parking spot that's in front of my apartment because I have two parking spots. So does my neighbors, so do those neighbors, so do these neighbors. So like, I, I have two parking spots, okay? You know, like that's my spot, nobody can touch me. I was driving and there's a car in front of me, right? And long story short, they put their turn signal on to turn onto my road. So I did the same thing. We're driving down my road. I was waiting for them to like turn off. They never turned off. And I'm sitting over there just, they're going so slow, like maybe 15 miles an hour. So tell me you don't know where you're going without telling me that you don't know where you're going. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was driving down the road and I shit you not, she pulls into my fucking parking spot and sits there. And I'm just sitting in the middle of the road, just like, hey. So I eventually pulled up right next to her and I was like, can you move? This is my, my house, like you have to move. And she was like, no, I'm not gonna move. No, I'm not gonna move. Really? Really? I just sat there and laid on my fucking horn. Bitch, you ain't gonna play with me. Get the fuck out of my fucking parking spot. You know what I mean? So obviously my neighbors probably don't like me at this point, but that's okay. I'm defending my home, my safe place, my security, you know what I mean? And the woman eventually just sits there and she backs out and she sits there and she's just like on the phone, just like talking about how rude I was to like her daughter or something. Cause she's trying to find directions to where she's going, but I don't give a fuck, map that shit. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. At this point you pissed me off, you know what I mean? So what happens was she eventually like pulled into my second parking spot and then she laid on her horn when I went inside. So you know what I did? Oh yeah, I did this shit and I'm not even the one up kind of person to do this shit, but I did this shit, okay? I sat there and after it was like five minutes of her just blowing on the horn, I had to let my dogs out. So I called the fucking cops and I was like, hey, I know this isn't an emergency, but I'm doing this because I feel like she will leave if I tell him I'm on the phone with you. You know what I mean? That's what people fucking do. They get scared and they fucking leave. That's exactly what happened. I was on the phone with the cops for that shit on speaker. I was telling them everything and then bam, she fucking did. I hung up on them too. I was like, okay, she's gone. Bye bye. Sorry guys. Like, <laughs> call me a Karen, but I honestly don't fuck with that shit. Don't come into my fucking driveway, pull into my fucking parking spot, take my fucking parking spot, and then complain to me about how I'm the bitch. Bitch! <laughs> 
See, I get road rage like crazy and I don't even know how we got onto this topic, but that's something that I wanna do videos of too. I cannot wait. Well, I don't wanna do story times of this because I, I can, like I have been in a few accidents. I could tell you some stories about that. I have never hit anybody, but I've been hit a lot and I drive a lime green Jeep. So you would expect people to, you know, see my car. Well, they don't, they don't ever see my car. And I have been T-boned. I have been hit right in the front. My bumper on both sides has little dimples like me, you know, so it's fun. But I want to get a, you know, like camera for my car when I drive. I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna look like such an idiot, but I'm leaving this in, okay? I might get one of those car cameras and I'm going to be able to record my footage of when I get pissed off and hopefully I'll be vlogging in the process of me driving so that you'll be able to see the whole, the whole reason of why Kaya has road rage, okay? Because I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do, I'm not perfect. I get really, 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 really mad at people when I drive. Like if you're going under the speed limit, I will lay my horn on you. Like, yeah, I will lay my horn on you. Like the whole horn, I will put it on you. Yep, I cannot. If you're not driving the speed limit or, <gasps> oh my gosh, driving in the rain. Don't even get me started on driving in the rain. Right now it's raining right now, thundering, and I, sh I hope that it stops before I get to go home because if it doesn't, I'm going to be so mad when I get home because people literally sit there and they drive with their hazard lights on and they go 25 miles per hour in a 55. If you're scared to drive, don't leave the house. It's that simple. I mean, shit. I get some people don't have big old Jeep Wranglers that can drive through anything, but like sh I've driven Cadillacs. I've driven a Volkswagen Bug. I've driven Audis. Like I know how cars feel and SUVs feel and vans feel, but like I don't understand why people drive like idiots. I've even driven like a brand new 2021 Toyota Corolla and those things are so fucking like tiny to the ground and I still wouldn't drive like a pussy in the rain. Like, are you kidding me? I get so into thought and I just ramble and ramble and keep going. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't like anything of me doing anything. I'm just sitting here talking to you. So I know it's a little bit different. Um, don't hate me. But like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Stay around, you guys. Don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun. And you guys, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.